What's going on, my friends? My name is m 2 and welcome back to another episode of Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch. We're off the last time we found Sprout in every level, and now in this part, we're gonna go... We're not gonna really take another lap around the world again, but... We're going to go ahead and do something else. Instead, we've been revisiting all these levels like... Five or six times, maybe even seven, eight, or nine, ten. However... We're going to revisit all the boss levels this time around. And the boss levels, when you beat the game, the boss levels introduce something pretty new. Uh, and that is that, as you can see, we have some challenges that these bosses have to offer this time. Now, we've fought all these bosses before, and, all, and the criteria was to just beat them. It's simple. But now, this time, we have these really, really challenging criteria here. As you can see, we're going to go back to the first boss stage, and that's the Tin Can Condor. And as you can see here, we have some very, very tight requirements. we got uh, beating the boss in a minute and 25, which is actually really tight. We have beating without any without taking damage, which is simple. But then, we have attaching magnet when the boss's face is red, and that is, and that's actually to skip a whole, a whole attack phase. So they expect you to skip an attack phase uh, in order to beat this boss within a minute and 25. It's very challenging. Um, but we are going to go ahead and do that because if we do, if we satisfy all these criteria, we get three flowers per boss, uh, which is going to allow us to get the remaining flowers of the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. Now, I'm probably not going to be speaking much because I want to make sure I satisfy these requirements. And this may take me multiple tries, so if it does, well, you're going to have a, quite a fun time within the uh, blooper montage uh, later on. Okay, here we go. So we're off the bat as a magnet. We want to go ahead and do an up throw right off the bat there. Uh, that's going to be important. Up throws are important in order to optimize this fight. Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, like I said, you have to do these, um, do all these, like, optimizations that are very important in order to, in order to make these boss fights as quick as possible. Because uh, the time limits that the boss fights give you in order to satisfy the uh, challenge requirements, uh, they're not lenient at all. So, like, doing, let's say, uh, doing, like, what the, what the fight is telling you to do with the, um... Nice! That's that. That's one requirement right there, and uh, you have to do that. That's the and 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 these and you know that requirement there is to hit you as to how to beat the boss really quickly. So it's very important. And like I said, I'm probably not going to be speaking much during these fights in order to make these as quick as possible. Bouncing one. <sighs> That's fine. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Did I do it? I hope I did. It was either a minute and 25 or a minute 20. I think it's a minute 25. But, yes. Okay, that's one requirement down. Or that's one boss down and six more to go, I think. So there we go. You did it. Oh yes. Um something else to note about these boss challenges is you don't have to beat them all in one run. So if you beat the boss and you met some of the challenge uh, of the requirements, then you can replay them and then and then uh, meet the other requirement. But I'm gonna try to meet all these requirements in one go. It's gonna be really hard, but we're gonna try. Okay, let's see what we can do about this one here. This one's really tricky. The middle phase is the hardest part of the uh, of the of the fight here. Okay, here we go. All right, now in the middle phase, we have these vines, and you have to defeat, and you have to break two of them. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
Okay, I hope that was good enough. Oh, that second hit felt slow. This is not a very, this is not a lenient time limit. This is oh, we have a minute and twenty three to beat this boss. It's not very lenient at all. We'll see what we can do. minute and 20. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that first try. That's real. That's a lot harder than I made that look. Believe me, that's... Oh, I probably spent probably 30 minutes uh, before I actually got uh, got this down. Whew! That was good. Okay. Now, it does not get any easier from here. So... <sighs> That's... I'm really relieved that I got that first try. Because I practiced so hard on that. Okay. Uh, time for the next one. Okay, Bert. Alright, this is probably the easiest one amongst all the challenges here. And, uh, you're gonna see. So, here, here, so here, here we go. One, two, okay, make sure you get a third, uh, make sure you get a penguin in your mouth before you attempt to do your first hit. Uh, because that is required for one of the challenges here. Uh, one of the, one of the requirements is to actually hit Bert on the back as it's tipping over. Uh, and then the other requirement is to beat him in a minute and twenty. So we have a minute left. Less than a minute left. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. This, this is where you want to attempt this. Tipping over, hit him. There we go. Okay, that's number two. And then hit number three is easy. Really easy. So here we go. So we have plenty of time to um, fight Bert here. This is one of the more lenient time limits. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> okay. One. Two. Bam! Minute and 13. Hoo hoo! Man. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so yeah, like I said, really easy right there. Except I made myself look like a fool. Uh, which you will see at the end here, and there it is. All the flowers require uh, all the flower requirements satisfied for this boss fight, and we are halfway done with this. Okay, that's Bert's bouncy battle. Okay, this is a pretty interesting one. This is actually really precise. So, here we go. Depending on your timing, uh, this can be... Nice! Okay, uh, that's, that's a really, that's really good. Getting, getting the first hit off that early, that's really, really good. Uh, so we're off to a really good start now. Alright. So one of the requirements is something that we actually did before, and that is to, um... Uh, defeat, destroy two of the railroad signs, and they call it alarms in this game, in, in, uh, for this level for some reason. They're not really alarms. One, two, okay. Yes, that's really good. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're, so we're actually we so we have a lot of time to do a third hit now, since we got we got both those hits really early. You, you, you're hearing me get like really excited about those hits, even though they're they're not hard, but they're really hard to get them to get them early, like really fast. So 
here we go. Like I said, we have a lot of time to get the third hit in. The, the, the requirement is a minute and 35. Okay, here we go. Yes! A, mi a minute 27. Oh, 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 man. That's so hard. That third hit is the hardest one right there. And get getting it right off the bat like that, that's not easy. And I even did that the first time that we fought him too. So the fact that I got that uh, two consecutive times, that's insane. Ha <sighs> ha, yes. All right, that's four bosses down. And now, for the next one, and, that, and I believe the next one's Baby Bowser. Ooh, that one's gonna be interesting. We'll see how that one goes. Okay, so, this fight, it's, it's very, very particular on how to go about with it, you'll see. Alright, so the time limit that the fight gives you is 4 minutes and 30 seconds, which sounds like a lot, but it's not. So, um, you have to do this fight very, you have to do this fight very specifically. So you're gonna notice I did not blow up the second truck right off the bat. Um, and that's because this is gonna save time on the second egg. So if you have four eggs here, this is perfect. Now it comes to this part right here. Jump over all this right here. One, two. One, two. Okay, so I don't have any eggs, but that's okay. So here's a phase, here's an attack phase that I haven't shown off the last time we fought him. Grab all three eggs here. Okay, that's two. As long as you stay in place and just keep jumping, you will not get hit by these things. Okay. Hover over these pencils. Again, no eggs, that's okay. Hit him. Okay, 210, that's a pretty good time coming into the second phase. As long as we don't mess up in the second phase, this is good. Okay, so now we get to this part, and this part's very specific on how you do it. And uh, one of our requirements for the boss is actually coming up in this phase. Okay. Interrupt this. Uh, interrupt that phase right there. And you can hit him right off the bat if you want, but that's actually a lot slower if you do that. What are you gonna do? Then hurry up over here. Nice. Okay, here we go. This is the part that we need to do in order to satisfy the requirement. See this huge meteor? Hit him. Just like that.
interrupt this attack right here? That's bad. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. We're we're still fine. We're, well, well, we can still meet. We can still meet the other requirements. Uh, but that sucks. Okay. Okay, he's gonna catch that, but use the other one right here, and then and then just go crazy. Yes, 426. Unfortunately, could not do a hitless run. I will I will do this uh, in between levels. Um, but there we go. And that's how you beat Baby Bowser in under four and a half minutes. So there we go. Very nice. Okay, well, we have one more boss to do, so let's do this. Okay, the final fight against Kame. I'm personally not looking forward to this. Um, so this is the hardest fight in the game, probably. So you have a 2 minute and 50 second time limit, which, like usual, is not a lot of time. And then the challenge here is to make sure that none of these purple platforms fall down, which is easy to do, because all you gotta do is keep jumping. Uh, there's one phase in particular, which is coming up right now, uh, where making that, where succeeding in that is, can be hard. Um, so here we go. Uh, it's also, in this phase, it's really hard to get a quick hit in, and if you don't get a quick hit in, then it makes the last phase really tight. Okay, that doesn't count. Uh, make, uh, those breaking is fine. Okay? Okay, hold jump as soon as you ground pound. Nice. This makes dodging those so much easier. It's really hard to just jump over them. That's okay. Okay, okay, okay! Okay, last phase, here we go. Again, I like to use the D-pad here. My hands are so sweaty. One. Yes, I felt my, I felt myself dropping that. Oh my god. Oh, can I do this? Oh man, we got 10 seconds to get this last hit. Here we go. Yeah! 245. Oh my god. 
I did it. Oh my god. All it took me was 30 minutes of failure and of like just pure frustration throughout 30 minutes. Took a break. And I came back for a stride after my break. That's all it took me. Oh. <sighs> all right, there we go. Finally did it. You know, I could have just like went on and did what I did with the baby Bowser fight and um, and uh, just and succeed in. Um... Oh, nice and uh, succeed without taking damage but still meet the requirements, but I wanted to I wanted to show this off right here. So you get this. Um, oh by the way I did I did um, uh, off screen the the damage list Bowser fight. Um, you know it's 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 straightforward. But anyway um, so now that we have all the flowers I'm absolutely starving. What say to giving me 317 smiley flowers? Alright, give him the rest of our flowers here. This is where we're going to spend the rest of our flowers in the game. Man! Is this guy really starving that badly? My thanks to you, I'm full as can be. Allow me to give you something in return. And we get the Sun Dreamstone costume. Super rare. We did it. But there's one thing left to do, and that is to get the rest of the costumes from this gumball machine right here. Unfortunately, we only have 2,000 coins. So I'm gonna be right back and get uh, some coins. Alright, I finished grinding coins. It didn't take long, because all I had to do is go through a solar zoom twice, because you get 500 coins every time you go through a solar zoom. So that's, so in my opinion, solar zoom is the easiest level to get coins in. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have, so now that we have 3,000 coins, go ahead and spend them here. So that way we can actually complete everything in our, um, scrapbook. Okay, Crumple's Clothing, Toy-Con Piano, Black Poochie Pup, a Pink Poochie Pup, a Toy-Con RC Car, okay, the Great King Bowser, oh man, the Light Blue Poochie Pup, Poochie, Torque Gear, and the Toy-Con Robot. All right, and this should be every costume, and if not, then, oh god, if not, then there's probably something wrong, but we'll see. We can check, but this is everything in the game, right here. All right, let's, get, let's, let's check on Corpus first. Check this out right here. Look at this. Every single thing filled up here on the courses, all the smiley flowers, all red coins, all hearts, all coins. Well, not all coins, but 100 coins on every level. All the poochie pups here. All the crafts. Oh man, this is so satisfying to look at here. Yeah, I guess we can check this too, just so we can confirm. There's a total of 692 flowers in the entire game. Can you believe that? Alright. And then if we go ahead and check out our scrapbook... You can check costumes too, but uh, Scrapbook gives you a better idea on um, whether you got everything. Okay, yeah. So here's all the. Oh, look at this. 121 out of 121 uh, uh, of the crafts and souvenirs here. This is awesome. Okay, we check out the uh, the costumes here. We got all 173 costumes. That's amazing. And then you can check out the cutscenes here. That's all the cutscenes of the game. And then the music, which is the entire, which is all the all the songs here. That's it. That's everything. That's everything in this game that we have to offer here. That's that is amazing. 
Ah, <sighs> couldn't be more satisfied that I'm finally done. Oh man. As much as as much as I really enjoyed playing through this game, the 100% journey to the journey to 100% was quite a grind. Um, you know, the overall the overall overall like you know. Uh, all the aesthetics in every level, they were all really cool. I really liked the gimmicks that the levels threw at you. Boss fights were cool as well. Um, except, I did not quite enjoy the souvenirs. Poochie Pops I kind of enjoyed. Sprout, uh, he got me a couple times, but I but I enjoyed that too. Um, and then the boss challenges, they were, some of them, half of them actually, half of them were pretty difficult. So, uh, if you are looking into just, you know, playing through the game, then this game is really short. Um, otherwise, you're going to have quite the grind if you, if you intend on 100% this game. And we managed to do it. Uh, you know, very satisfying reward. Uh, but I, would, I, I most likely wouldn't do this again. Uh, just because it's quite the grind. But... We managed to succeed, and that's all that matters. Um, so, with that being said, uh, like I said, I I did enjoy this game. This was a this was a nice game. Uh, for my second Yoshi LP of my, of the channel, uh, it felt really good coming back to a Yoshi game, and um, you know, do the most recent one. Uh, I actually recently picked up a copy of Yoshi's Woolly World. Which is another game that I will eventually pick up, but um, seeing how this grind went, I will probably not co go back to a Yoshi game for a while. But definitely in the future, Yoshi's Willy will World will be in the future, uh, as well as the other Yoshi games in, in the series. Um, so, yeah. Um, as of right now, I actually don't know when this is going to be up, but um, assuming this is going up uh, within uh, the month, the same month that I'm recording this, uh, that, well, the same month that this gets uploaded, uh, Pokemon White 2 and Danganronpa 2, those will now, those will be going on for a while, and now I can finally set this game down. I would definitely recommend this game uh, if you are interested in a if you're interested in picking up a, a Yoshi game. Uh, it's definitely pretty simple to go through uh, if you're just going through the game. And um, yeah, so I give my rating of this game a six out of ten. Uh, unfortunately, as as much as I gave I gave uh, positive feedbacks with this game. Um, there are the, the several things needed in order to 100% this game, like the grind for it, uh, is very unfortunate, so this is definitely not one of the top, one, not a top Yoshi game for me. Um, I still have a pretty soft spot for Yoshi's Island, um, mainly because it's the only Yoshi game prior to this that I've played, um, and it's very nostalgic. But, um, with that being said, that is going to be it for this Let's Play of Yoshi's Crafted World. And stay tuned for future projects coming up. Otherwise, stay tuned for more Danganronpa 2 and Pokemon White 2. And, um, my next project coming up after both those are completed is a pretty, is a rather exciting one. Uh, I'm actually pretty looking forward to releasing this next project. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next LP. Okay, th okay, that's okay, that's okay. Ah, oh, that's not okay, come on! <sighs> uh oh, uh oh. Um, what? I've never seen you do that before. So I could save time on the second phase. So, um, uh-oh. Oh my god. Uh-oh. I hate myself. Grab the second hammer. Okay. Uh, 
Oh no. That's- oh no. I'm gonna reset. That's not- that- that's not gonna give me enough time. 